Hi everyone and welcome to Joe Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard and MX Master 3S Mouse. I've been using this keyboard and mouse combo for a couple of months and I have a few thoughts on it. So let's jump into it. Upon unboxing the keyboard, you'll find it wrapped in some tissue paper. Included in the packaging is the USB receiver, charging cable, and instructions. When opening the mouse, it's essentially the same You'll find the mouse, instructions, and charging cable, minus any tissue paper. Simple instructions for the keyboard are shown on the inside of the packaging, while for the mouse, they are on the bottom of it. Setting up both mouse and keyboard is pretty simple. I set both of these up via Bluetooth, so I didn't need to use the USB receiver. On my Mac, I just went to my Bluetooth settings and clicked on each device to pair. When pairing the keyboard, it required me to hit a couple specific keys so the computer could identify the keyboard. Pairing both took less than five minutes. Once you have the mouse and keyboard paired, download the Logi Options Plus app. In this app, you can customize both the keyboard and mouse to your preference. On the keyboard, you can customize the function row keys plus a few others. For me, I just left about everything as default except for the F7 key. I changed that to Shift Command 5 as this allows me to record my screen easier. You also have the option to customize the keys based on the app you're using. There's a tab for backlight options. You have a few different choices for backlighting effects. I chose to stick with the static backlighting. You can change it on the keyboard by pressing FN plus the volume down key or in the app to see what each style does. In this tab you can also turn out the backlighting effect. To preserve battery life, the keyboard only lights up as your hands approach the keys. There's a slight delay for from when your hands are on the keyboard and when the keyboard lights up. I do wish it were a little quicker at lighting up as I've had to slightly wait in order to find the proper keys sometimes. There's also an easy switch tab where you set up the keyboard to work with multiple computers. I haven't used this feature since I don't have that kind of setup, but from what I've seen, it looks like it works pretty seamless. Then finally, there's a settings tab where you can turn on battery saving mode, backlighting, layout, and a few other options. The mouse setup is similar for customization. You can choose what action each button does and set it up by the app you're using. I haven't really changed what the buttons do yet. I like the way the default options are set up. There's also a page for point and scroll. You can change the speed of both the regular scroll wheel and the horizontal one. For the horizontal, I changed the scroll to inverted as I prefer it that way for some reason. There's an option for smooth scrolling where it's supposed to make web pages glide across the screen more smoothly so it's easier to read and navigate. I haven't noticed too much of a difference between when it's on and off to be honest. Then finally, there's an option for smart shift. This switches the speed at which you scroll depending on how fast you're spinning the wheel. This option too, I've tested with it being on and off and I feel that the difference is quite small. Then like the keyboard, there is a tab for easy switch where you can set up the mouse to work with different computers. You can press the button on the bottom of the mouse to switch to the computer you want to control. Then there's a tab called flow, which is different from easy switch in the sense that this option allows you to set up your mouse to work between different computers by simply moving your cursor to a different screen. This even works when going from a Mac to a PC. A cool feature with this is you can copy something from one computer and paste it in the other and it doesn't matter if you paste it from a PC computer to a Mac or vice versa. I've seen videos of this option and it looks like it works pretty slick since again I only have a Mac I haven't tried this feature but it looks like it'd be a great feature for people with dual computers. Then finally there's a settings tab where you can swap buttons, restore backup, reset to factory settings, and a few other things. Okay moving on to the features of the keyboard. You have a few options when choosing which keyboard you want. First you can either get a keyboard with the number pad or without. I chose with the number pad since I work in Excel a fair amount and want to be able to quickly type numbers. However, if you don't need the number pad, then go with the Mechanical Mini as it will save some space on your desk. The difference in space saved between the two keyboards is about 25 square inches, which could make a difference depending on your desk setup. Then you choose which switch type you prefer. I went with the Tactile Quiet. There are also options for Linear or Clicky. Logitech's website does a good job of explaining the difference between the three different switches and allows you to listen to what each switch sounds like. I chose the tactile quiet so I could have that mechanical feeling when typing but wanted the quieter option. It still makes a good amount of sound as you'd expect from a mechanical keyboard. If you're sharing a room with someone, don't expect the other person to sleep through you typing a report or whatever work you have to do. Next, onto the build quality of the keyboard. The best way to describe it is solid. 
you pick it up and it feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. This particular unit comes in just shy of two pounds. While most of the outer case is made of plastic, the top case is made of aluminum, which gives it a sturdy feeling. On the top right corner of the keyboard is the battery indicator light. It stays green from 100% full charge to 11%, 10% and under, it will be red. Logitech says you can use the keyboard for 500 more hours with low battery as long as the backlighting is turned off. On the rear of the keyboard is the on off switch as well as the USB-C charging port. Underneath the keyboard are the tilt legs, which provide an eight degree incline. Even without the tilt legs, the keyboard sits at a slight incline. I prefer to use it with the tilt legs. It seems to provide just the right angle that's comfortable for me. I've been used to typing on a Mac keyboard for the last couple years, so moving to a mechanical one feels oddly satisfying. The keyboard is low profile enough where it feels like your fingers can glide across the keys with ease. Despite the low profile, you feel plenty of travel each time you perform a keystroke. I'm a fan of the overall look of the keyboard. The alternating color scheme is designed so it's easy to orient yourself with the keys. The matte style finish feels smooth and gives it a premium feeling and look. Battery life on the keyboard has been better than I expected. Logitech claims up to 15 days full charge with the backlighting on. I've had backlighting on and have been using for about eight weeks and I'm still at 45%. Since I don't use a keyboard for my full-time job, I'm probably only averaging a couple hours a day with it. Based on that rate, I'll probably get about 12 to 13 weeks of use before I have to charge it which I'm more than okay with. Moving on to the MX Master 3S mouse, you have three color options to choose from. Black, pale gray, which is basically white, and graphite. I went with the black option, but the graphite comes in a close second for me. Ergonomically, it fits my hand perfectly. There are four buttons that you can control right next to your thumb. They are close enough that they're easy to reach, but not too close where your thumb is always rubbing up against them. I probably use the gestures button the most with the thumb. It has a soft cushion-like feel when pressing down on it to go from one window or application to the next. Logitech claims the left and right click buttons are 90% quieter when compared to the MX Master 3 mouse. I haven't used the previous gen mouse, but this one is very quiet when clicking. The electromagnetic scroll wheel makes scrolling through web pages or documents easy and efficient. By using free spin, you're supposed to be able to scroll through 1000 lines a second. And in my use, it definitely lives up to that claim. Switching to free spin is done by simply pressing the button on top of the mouse. It's easy to switch back and forth between regular scrolling and free spin. Most of the time, I don't use free spin as I'm just browsing web pages or have smaller documents I'm working in. I could see how free spin would be handy for those people working with many lines of code or many lines in Excel. Overall, I'm really happy with the Logitech Mechanical Keyboard and MX Master 3S mouse. It makes typing more enjoyable while the mouse is accurate and packed with time-saving features. I only have really two complaints with them. First, as mentioned before, the backlighting on the keyboard. I wish it could light up a bit quicker upon your hands approaching the keyboard. I'd say this complaint is fairly minor as it does a pretty good job of lighting up quickly, but just that half or quarter second faster would really be an improvement. My only other complaint is that on the mouse. Sometimes a horizontal scroll wheel just simply doesn't work. I'll be working in Final Cut Pro trying to scroll across the timeline and it doesn't scroll for whatever reason. Sometimes I'll have to leave the app and come back to it to get it to work. Other times I have to turn the mouse off and on. I'd say it works about 70% of the time. I keep the firmware updated on the mouse and keyboard along with regular software updates on the apps I'm using. Hopefully a future update can fix that problem. Other than those couple of complaints, I have been very happy with this combo at roughly $250 for this setup. It's not for everybody. However, both the mouse and keyboard offer great build quality, ease of setup, tons of customizable options, and offer productivity enhancing features that I think warrant the price tag. I definitely recommend this MX Master Series mechanical keyboard and mouse to anyone. Thanks for watching my review. Please leave a like and subscribe. Until the next review, take care.